Okay, good morning, second grade. I am back for reading. So today we are going to use um, our ugly vegetable story. Okay, and we are going to read parts of the story and then we're going to fill in the conclusion, draw that conclusion by using emails. Okay, so the story, Grandma sends the little girl some emails and then she answers. We're going to answer back in the emails to draw the conclusion. So you will need the ugly vegetable page. Okay, looks like this. The ugly vegetables, page 98 and 99. There's that. And then you also have a stapled packet that has some of the story pages. It has some story pages in it. Okay, so make sure you have a pencil. And we will get started with what we want to do for the ugly vegetable story. Okay, so the ugly vegetable story. What it tells me to do here, it says emails to grandma. Okay, so she's sending emails back to her grandmother. It says, hi, I am emailing my grandma to tell her about the garden. Help me finish each email. Use examples from the story, from the text. And illustrations, look at the pictures, to show how I feel about my garden. To show how I feel about the garden. So, the first one says, we're going to read page 233. So, let's get your, babe, your book, your little booklet that I made for you. Page 233. Make sure you have a pencil. Because we might want to underline something in there, okay? We might want to underline something. So, it says, one day I saw our garden growing. Little green stems that looked like grass had popped out from the ground. Our garden's growing, I yelled. Our garden's growing. I rushed over to the neighbor's gardens to see if theirs had grown. Their plants looked like little leaves. Mommy, I asked. Why do our plants look like grass? The neighbor's plants look different because they are growing flowers, she said. Why can't we grow flowers, I asked. These are better than flowers, she said. Okay, so let's look at that picture. Let's look at the picture. How does that little girl look in the picture? Look at her face. Look at her face. How does she look? Yeah. So let's look at our first email. The first email right here, this one here, okay, on the top of page 98 says, how is your garden looking? Love, Grandma. I am blank because our plants blank. So look at her face. What does it tell us? How does she feel? How does she feel? Yeah, she's excited. She's excited. So we're going to write, I am excited. Okay? And I'll show it to you. I am excited. There's the word excited. I am excited. Because our plants, what did they do? What did they do? Well, let's go back to our story. One day I saw our garden growing. Little stems that looked like grass had popped out from the ground. Ooh, let's underline both of those sentences. One day I saw our garden growing. Little green stems that looked like grass had popped out of the ground. Yeah, so I underlined those first sentences. So if I go back to my email, it says, I am excited, and I got that from her face, because our plants, what are our plants doing? They're growing. Our plants are growing. Yes, our plants are growing. So, that's the first one. 
I am excited because our plants are growing. You may pause so you can copy that down. Okay, the next one says, read page 237. So, I turned my paper to 237, okay? And this is what I'm going to be listening for. How is your garden looking today? Love, Grandma. And it says, I am blank because our garden blank. So, let's listen to page 237. Before long, our vegetables grew. Some were big and lumpy. Some were thin and green and covered with bumps. Some were just plain icky yellow. They were ugly vegetables. Sometimes I would go over to the neighbors and look at their pretty gardens. They would show the poppies and peonies and petunias to me, and I would feel sad that our garden wasn't as nice. Okay, so the email says, how is your garden looking today? Love, Grandma. I am blank. How did she feel? Can we find the sentence that says how she feels? Yes, yeah, the very last sentence down there. It says, it says, I and I would feel sad our garden wasn't as nice. Right down there at the bottom. I underlined it. I just started here. I would feel sad that our garden wasn't as nice. So, well, how did she feel? I am, what word did we have? What feeling word did we underline? Sad. I am sad. Because our garden, and what did, what did she say? Our garden wasn't as nice. Right there at the very end. Wasn't as nice. Yeah. So let's copy that. I am sad because our garden wasn't as nice. Nice. And there it is. I am sad because our garden wasn't as nice. You may pause this so that you may copy that, or you can copy it straight out of your book. Okay, so on the back page, page 99, we have our next email, okay? And it says, let's continue looking at that same page, 237, okay? This one says, now, are you excited about your garden? Love, Grandma. I am blank because our garden blank. Hmm. So let's read that again. Let's see if we can find another description about how she feels. Before long, our, gar our vegetables grew. Some were big and lumpy. Some were thin and green and covered with bumps. Some were just plain icky. They were ugly vegetables. How do you think she felt? How do you think she felt with that? Yeah, I don't think she felt very good. I am... Sad. She's sad again, right? She's sad. Okay, well, let's read that again. 
Why was she sad in that first part? Listen again. Before long, our vegetables grew. Some were big and lumpy. Some were thick and green and covered with bumps. Some were just plain icky yellow. They were ugly vegetables. So why was she sad? What, what, what about the vegetables? I am sad because our garden... Yeah, they were ugly vegetables. Ugly vegetables. Down at the top of there, up here at the top. They were ugly vegetables. I underline that. So, I can write, I am sad because our garden has ugly vegetables. Yeah. She was so sad because of the vegetables. Okay, and this is what it says. I am sad because our garden has ugly vegetables. You may pause so you could write that or just copy it really quick, okay? I am sad because I had the garden had ugly vegetables. Okay, the next one says down here. This one here it says read page two hundred and forty-two. What can I tell Grandma about the garden for this one? Hmm. How is your garden looking now? Love, Grandma. How is your garden looking now? Love, Grandma. Well, let's, let's listen to the story. When I followed it to my house, am I on the right page yet? My mother was putting a big bowl of soup on the table. The soup was yellow and red and green and pink. This is a special soup, Mommy said, and she smiled. She gave me a small bowl full of it, and I tasted it. It was good! The flavors of the soup seemed to dance in my mouth and laugh all the way down to my stomach. I smiled. Do you like it? Mommy asked. I nodded and held out my bowl for some more. It's made from our vegetables, she told me. So, how do you think she feels in this one? What could we underline? What could we say? Yeah, the special soup. She gave her a small bowl and she tasted it. And what did she say? It was good. Yeah, it was good. The flavors of the soup seemed to dance in my mouth and laugh all the way down to my stomach. I smiled. So that's what I underlined. I underlined that paragraph. It was good. They danced in their mouth and smiled to the stomach. She smiled. Okay, so that's what I underlined. So how do you think she feels? If she smiled and if she said, it's good, she must be Happy, yes, I am happy. Hey, well, why is she happy? Because our garden, what could we say? The garden vegetables tasted good. Yeah, the garden, I am happy because the garden vegetables Tasted good. Yeah. So there it is. I am happy because the garden vegetables tasted good. Yeah, so now she really liked the garden. She loved how they tasted. So you can pause, so you can copy that, or you can write it really quick from your own, what you highlighted in, or underlined in your story. Okay, 
Okay, then the last one says, look at page 243. We have a picture on page 243. Okay, that's all we're, we're going to only look at the picture and see if we can figure this one out. It says, how are you feeling about your garden? Love, Grandma. So what do you think? How do you think she's feeling? Look at her. Look at her face. How do you think she's feeling? Yeah, she loves it, right? She loves it. So how's she feeling? I am maybe excited again because I am excited. Let's use excited. I am excited because why? Because of what? What did they make? Yeah, I am excited because of the Wonderful soup. Yeah. I am excited because of the wonderful soup from the vegetables. Yeah. She's excited. So that's what we wrote. I'm excited because of the wonderful soup from the vegetables. Put it that way so you can't see the back of it. I am excited because of the wonderful soup from the vegetables. Okay? Yeah. From the vegetables. Okay. Well, that ends the story of the ugly vegetables, the emails to Grandma. I hope you enjoy doing that. Okay, and I'll be back in just a little bit with our next assignment, which will be some writing. I'll be back in just a little bit with that.